Was that so that that's a real controversy with with Castro not being included in a sketch on Saturday Night Live? Yes. I thought Joaquin was just being a doofus, which he is. But you're te- people are actually upset that he was not included in a, in a, in, a, in a comedy sketch. They're they're upset because Saturday Night Live didn't mock him and make fun of him. And that means they're tone deaf to Latinos. Oh, God, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so Joaquin's brilliant solution is I'll play him if you want. Well, you know, I, I saw the sketch. Yeah. And, and it doesn't portray any of the candidates in a positive fashion. I, I heard so the Beto why would, line. Why so... would he want to be in there? I don't know. It's perplexing. <laughs> Why aren't you guys making fun of me? You hate Hispanics, don't you? Carne guisada. You know, I, it's, it's just bizarre. It's just, this is the most bizarre. I mean, you and I have lived through a few presidential campaigns in our lifetime. Right. I have never seen anything this bizarre in my life. Well, the last one was a little nuts. The last one was a little nuts. <laughs> the last one was got but a little this, out of hand. But, but this it. one is a lot nuts, yeah. man. A lot nuts. I just said a lot nuts. 210-599-5555. Do you think Saturday Night Live is tone deaf to Hispanics because they didn't include Julian and his little 1%? (laughs) That sounded funny. You know what I mean. His little 1% on on their stage to mock him in a sketch. If you are Hispanic-y, are you offended by this? Were you thinking like, were you watching Saturday Night Live? However, well, there's like nine of you left. You know, were you watching Saturday Night Live? And you saw that somebody wasn't imitating Julian. Did you get offended as a hispanic person? No, let me ask you this. What do you think would have happened H- had they had an actor portraying Julian in that bit and he came off as a bully towards jo- Joe Biden? What he, would happen then? He'd be a, they'd be racist. There you go. They'd be racist. That's a no way. This is what the pukes do. They they it, agenda themselves into a corner where they can't do anything. Where there, it, there's no, it's a no win situation. It's the Kobayashi Maru. It's a no win situation. You you have got somebody, and you know what the thing is? I bet they had because they're such pukes. I bet they had a meeting about this. I bet they had meetings about this. What do we do about the uh, the Mexican guy from San Antonio? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the guy... Lauren, I don't know. You know, if we have one of our people play him, they might think that's stereotyping and, and racist and cultural appropriation. <sighs> so what if we just act like he doesn't exist? That might be the way to go. Except if we act like he don't exist, they'll be upset that <laughs> we didn't we didn't include him. Once again, Julian's missing a debate. You know, I mean The sketch was funny though. I, I can't bear Saturday Night Live. I haven't watched that show in years. The last time I watched it, I, you know, barfed in my mouth about nine times. Put, put this idea in your head. Mm. Woody Harrelson as Joe Biden. I, I saw that. The teeth were funny. <laughs> he didn't act anything like Joe Biden other than the teeth thing. I mean, it was, it was all right. It was, I, I saw that bit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he, was, he looked stoned. He was high. <laughs> just like the real guy. Just like the real Joe. <laughs> Only one's stoned off a of willy weed and the other one's high off of meds. Um, it, the last thing I saw that was funny on Saturday Night Live is when, when they used to have uh, Will Ferrell on there back when he used to be funny, and, and uh, they did the, the Celebrity Jeopardy thing. That was right. funny. That's always fun. Right? That was the last time they were funny. I've not watched them in years. So, I, again, let me get your opinion on this. 210-599-5555. Another example of how liberals have just lost their freaking minds, man. There is apparently, and I, I thought it was. I thought Joaquin was just trying to worm his way into Saturday Night Live, because you know, <laughs> their star, are, their stars are fading very quickly. Because uh, you know, Joaquin loves being on TV, man. He does that more than he does his job. And I thought he was just being a doofus, and you know. I, I thought it was probably one of the dumber things the guys uttered in public because they already did that switcheroo thing at that parade here in town a few years ago, which I would hope they're still embarrassed by. So the fact that he would bring that up is kind of insipid. But the fact that it's actually a controversy, they're actually saying, people are actually thinking 
that Saturday Night Live, one of the most liberal piece of crap shows on television. It's as liberal as the day is. It's so liberal. You're, you're, you're actually uh, upset that a, a an extraordinarily liberal show like Saturday Night Live is now anti-Hispanic because they didn't have an actor play Julian Castro and make fun of him. And as Don pointed out, and Chris Glasgow, you pointed this out during a commercial break, had they done that, they would have been racist. Because if you're a liberal, you must constantly be outraged by something. Something must constantly be upsetting you. And in this case, they had, what were they going to do? They're puked if they do, they're puked if they don't. It's the world in which we live now.